Advanced Maneuvers and Aerobatics Overview Advanced Maneuvers aim to develop techniques in operating an aircraft to obtain maximum performance during flight. These are also evasive maneuvers to avoid collision or an obstacle by gaining an altitude of minimum 600 feet and an evading turn of 90 degrees to 180 degrees change of direction. It is practiced for precise timing and coordination in handling the aircraft. Advanced maneuvers are designed to build confidence and smoothness of controls during flight. Advanced maneuvers are maximum performance takeoff, maximum performance climbing turns, Shendale, and Lazy 8. Aerobatics are maneuvers intentionally performed which involves an abrupt change in attitude or an abnormal acceleration. These maneuvers were used to entertain people in circus flying. Aerobatics are developed during air warfare, where and used as tactical maneuvers for dog fighting. The maneuvers are limited to the type and ability of aircraft. Objectives To develop a fine control touch, coordination, timing, and division of attention for precise maneuvering of the airplane. Obtain sense of orientation and control feel in normal maneuvers. Sharpening of fundamental skills to the degree that the pilot can cope with unusual or unforeseen circumstances. Aerobatics is introduced in flight training for the student pilots to develop a more sensitive feeling in handling the aircraft and to improve his ability to coordinate the flight controls, regardless of attitude. Learning to perform aerobatics skillfully will give more confidence in flying ability and help become familiar with all attitudes of flight and increase the ability to fly an aircraft at maximum performance. Lesson Profile Advanced maneuvers and basic aerobatics will be performed in lessons 1 and 2. Advanced aerobatics will be performed from lesson 3 to 6. Maximum performance takeoff is performed to practice short runway takeoff, or an obstruction is present at the end of the runway. Pre takeoff checklist is the same as the normal takeoff, with flaps on takeoff position. The procedures are the following Perform final cockpit check. Static takeoff will be performed. Hold brakes. Apply full power, then check engine instruments all on green. Release brakes, and start to rotate at 65 knots airspeed. Allow the aircraft to gain enough altitude to clear the simulated obstacle, while maintaining 75 knots indicated airspeed, or VX, best angle of climb airspeed. Gears up at 1,300 feet. Flaps up at 1,400 feet. Then adjust to normal climbing power at altitude 1,500 feet, throttle 24 and prop 25. Then gradually lower nose to attain VY or best rate of climb airspeed, at 110 knots. And continue the upwind and traffic exit procedures. The common errors in maximum performance takeoff are the following. Failure to maintain directional control. Failure to have the airplane properly trimmed prior to takeoff. Premature liftoff resulting in high drag. Holding the airplane on the ground unnecessarily with excessive forward elevator pressure. Inadequate rotation resulting in excessive speed after liftoff. And inability to attain or maintain best angle of climb airspeed. Pre-maneuver check must be performed before executing advanced maneuvers. Check engine instruments on the green. Check fuel pressure. Booster pump off. Seat and safety belts, fastened and adjusted. Gears and flaps, up. And fuel selector set to fuller tank. Tip tanks can be utilized. For conditions of flight. Throttle set to 21. Prop to 2300 RPM. And mixture adjusted, and leaned as necessary. Maximum performance climb. Conditions of flight, throttle 21, prop 23, airspeed at 130 to 140 knots. Visually clear the area, and declare the present heading, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees reference points. Blend rudder, aileron, and elevator, to start a coordinated climbing turn. The maximum bank is 60 degrees, maximum pitch is 40 degrees to 70 degrees, and top airspeed is 75 knots. At 45 degrees reference point, maximum bank angle and maximum pitch attitude must be established. Then start rolling out the bank angle while keeping the maximum pitch up attitude. Hold the pitch up attitude while completing rollout to wings level, and establish the top airspeed 75 knots. Adjust pitch attitude as necessary in order to maintain 75 knots airspeed. After completing the 90 degrees change of direction, slowly lower the nose to straight and level attitude, 
without letting the VVI go beyond zero reading. The maneuver is completed when aircraft is back to straight and level flight. The minimum altitude gain should be at least 600 feet. Common errors in max perf climb. Failure to adequately clear the area. Failure to declare and maintain references. Failure to obtain maximum pitch. Lack, or over pitch up, resulting in undesired top air speed control. Inadequate bank, resulting in not attaining desired change of direction. Excessive pitch, resulting to stalls. Shandell. Condition of flight, throttle 21, prop 23. Entry airspeed is 160 knots. Visually clear the area, and declare the present heading, 45 degrees, 90 degrees, and 135 degrees reference points. Shallow dive to attain 160 knots entry airspeed. Make a 30 degrees angle of bank, then apply back pressure to bring the nose above the horizon. Apply rudder pressure for a coordinated aircraft control. At 45 degrees change of direction, the nose should pass the horizon, then continue climbing turn. At 90 degrees change of direction, pitch and bank angle should be at the maximum, approximately 40 degrees to 70 degrees pitch up, and 60 degrees angle of bank. At 135 degrees change of direction, roll out of the bank, while maintaining back pressure. Wings level at 180 degrees change out direction. Adjust pitch attitude as necessary, in order to maintain 75 knots airspeed. Climb at least 600 feet. The common errors in performing chandelle are the following. Failure to adequately clear the area. Too shallow initial bank, resulting in a stall. Too steep initial bank, resulting in failure to gain maximum performance. Failure to start the recovery at the 90 degrees point. Allowing the pitch attitude to increase, as the bank is rolled out during the second 90 degrees of the turn. Wings level before the 180 degrees point is reached. Nose low on recovery, resulting in too much airspeed. Control roughness. Poor turn coordination. Stalling at any point during the maneuver. Execution of a steep turn instead of a climbing maneuver. Attempting to perform the maneuver by instrument reference, rather than visual reference. Lazy 8 consists of two 180 degrees turns, in opposite directions, while making a climb and descent in a symmetrical pattern, during each of the turns. At no time throughout the Lazy 8 is the airplane flown straight and level. Before performing Lazy 8, make two clearing turns. Declare the present altitude, heading, 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 135 degrees, and 180 degrees reference points. From a normal cruise, gradually apply back pressure, and blend aileron to attain a smooth and slow rated climbing turn. Apply appropriate rudder pressure for a coordinated aircraft control. At 45 degrees change of direction, pitch and bank angle should be at the maximum, approximately 40 degrees to 70 degrees pitch up, and 60 degrees angle of bank with top air speed of 75 knots. At this point, gradually ease back pressure, and let the aircraft make a slow descending turn. At 90 degrees change of direction, the nose should pass the horizon with a slow rate of descending turn, and with the angle of bank maintained at 60 degrees. At 135 degrees change of direction, slowly roll to wings level and start to apply gradual back pressure. At 180 degrees change of direction, back to entry altitude, Perform the same maneuver to the opposite direction, to complete a 360 degrees change of direction. Establish straight and level flight after completing a 360 degrees change of direction. Start and terminate the maneuver on the same airspeed, altitude, and heading. Pre-aerobatic check must be performed before executing aerobatics. Mixture, adjusted. Propeller, 2500 RPM. Throttle 22 to 24. Gears and flaps up. Fuel selector, switch to main tank. Booster pump, on. Engine instruments, on the green. Seat and safety belts, tightened. Nav instruments, set to free. And loose items, stowed and secured. Aerobatic maneuvers will be performed at altitude between 5 to 8,000 feet. Clear the area by performing at least two wing overs. Entry airspeed for all maneuvers will be 160, 170, 180 and 190 knots. Basic aerobatics
Advanced Aerobatics.